Yo, welcome! Hello! And hello. And welcome to Mario Golf! Oh, it's still tournament. Did you ever have this game? No. Oh. Oh yeah, you choose your character. Oh, I do? Yeah. Um, Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Little Yoshi. Why do you always go for Yoshi? Um... I'm gonna go for Mario. I never so went cool. for Mario. Well, I did, so... Okay. Uh, yes. So we play it? Because this, this is different. This is like to win each hole, the most holes you win. Whereas this is actually like proper golf. You want a proper golf, don't you? You want to do match play. Was... <laughs> Fine, we're doing stroke you. play. <laughs> okay, but I don't know golf as well as you do. So do we just... We should go right to that. Let's go right to the fucking... Let's go for it. No. What about Princess... We can go to the Princess no. Peach's castle. We're going to the boring first one. Are we seriously? No, what's, what's the second one? I this see one? a rainbow. My queer is automatically drawn okay, to the, the second Okay, one. rainbow. Okay, rainbow. Are you ready? To, yes, we are ready to play. Did uh, I pick a really hard one? Well, it's like really pretty walker. Oh, that's nice. They tried to make it look like a real golf game in this one, eh? Versus the N64 where it was like... Well, I, I just... Guess, I just love the Mountie. I just love the Mountie. He's just randomly there. And Plum. There's a lot of characters that are randomly in that game. We gotta play that one next. Okay, you remember how to play? Yep. Okay, go for it. Boom! Look at those skadoots. Pow. Oh. <laughs> Bump. Right in the bunker. Dude, dude, you wanna see this crazy shit? Watch. You didn't you didn't do the real stuff you're supposed to do. Then you press press that B button. Oh. And you got the power shot. And then you press A and then you auto do it because I'm lazy and then fireballs happen. Yeah, didn't think of that, did you? Yeah, you mm. eat shit. Mm -hmm. Did it really yeah, I guess I guess I got you. Closer. Yeah, I'm on the fairway. Huh? Well, you're, you're playing the sandbox. Dinosaur playing the sandbox. Well, maybe I need to take a shit. Now I know why you chose Yoshi. Now I know why you chose him. Why? Because the rainbow the gay. Oh yeah. So much gay in one place. It's great. So much so much Yoshi. I remember how to okay, so the yellow stick does that. I haven't played this game for a long time. Uh Random story, I played this game a lot as a kid. I never beat it, but I remember getting absolutely so angry at this game. I was trying to get... Are you angry at a video game? Never. Shut up. I was trying to get Metal Mario. Right. Um, as a character, like a playable character. I forget I forget what it was exactly. You had to get... Um, whoa, yeah! It's not gonna go in though. No. It's not that, it's not that easy. No. Um, nice try. You're a nice try. We're at par. Just, just hit in the hole. It's golf. Shit. Did you even did you even think about the slope? No, you didn't even think about the slope. You gotta think about that slope. Look at me. Look at me thinking about that slope. I'm thinking about it. I'm pondering about it. I'm gonna hit a little bit harder than that. It's gonna go in. Watch. Please knock my ball. In. Oh That's yeah. So rude. Yeah, no, the ball's not there. It's just a little thing. Mm. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Back to story, because I'm going to forget the story. So, I think the idea was you have to get, beat a certain course in a certain, you know, the amount of holes. Like you got to get like a birdie and then a par or a certain amount of birdies or something like that. And if you didn't do that, you just didn't get the character. And you had to do it in one whole shot of like doing the 18 holes or something like that. It was ridiculously hard. And then I, I just remember being at my grandparents' place and just screaming at the TV, screaming. Oh my god. What did you spend more time on? That or, um... Sorry, I had to get the story out. Go on, though. What was the game with the pig? Oh, Diddy your... Kong Racing! Yeah. Ah, okay, we gotta play that one, too. Yeah, that was my very first game. What was your very first game? Like, system game. That I bought or that I played? That you got, that you owned in your house, in your place, in the place that you lived. Well, because I always played my parents' systems and games, right? So I remember playing the NES growing up, largely. Yeah, you had the NES. And then, um... Oh yeah, oh yeah. The first system my parents bought me when the NES died was the GameCube. So I think the first game, I guess, if you want to say that I bought or like my parents bought for me was um, GameCube Mario Party. 
Oh, really? So Mario Party 4? Yeah, because it came with the system. Oh, yeah, that Shit. was, uh, yeah, when that game came out, that was, like, the big one everyone wanted to, wanted to play. You motherfucker! Yeah. Shit. Oh. Birdie putt. <laughs> ah, fuck. No, I think I did it right. Oh, you got it. I got a birdie, man. Holy shit. Look at him. It's like, wahoo! Oh Yay! my god, Mario. Calm your tits. He just had some coffee and he's like, oh, wahoo! That's quite the jump, though, for uh, systems going from the NES all the way to GameCube. Like, you skipped Super Nintendo and you skipped N64. We had a Super Nintendo, too, but my fat cat fucking chewed it. Oh. He ate it. Wait, how long did you have a Super Nintendo for? I don't remember you telling me that. I. A week, and then our cat killed it. <laughs> what game? What game did you have? What game did you have? It wasn't anything special. I don't even remember what it was. <laughs> was it like Jeopardy for Super Nintendo? No, like no, no, no. Although my mom reminded me the other day, apparently, as a family, remember that show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Yes, everyone knows. Everyone in our generation knows that. Yeah, because all of our parents watched it. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, dude, that was with the B control. Did you see that? Yeah. I wasn't using auto, I was using my fingers. And now I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just doing auto. Um, but yeah, so we had the, uh, apparently a computer game version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And my mom recently like plugged it in or like popped it in her computer just to see if it still, if it worked. And she said that it's just horrifying. The sound is like really muffled. Like it sounds like yeah. Do you want to be a millionaire? Yeah. Your fire rises. Yeah, it sounded like fucking <laughs> Bane narrating it. Yeah, no kidding, eh? I still think the funniest game I ever had, though, was like the InSync Call Me computer game. And if you had the internet, they could quote unquote leave you messages. And like, Shit. I bought it as a joke. I like the fact that your 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 parents were like already into gaming when you they got you stuff. So like, like is that was that the kind of nest? Was it like, yo Tara, check out this game, kid. I'm gonna show you the ropes. Yep. And like they showed me all the I I've mentioned I mentioned this in our um, Mario playthrough. They showed me all the tips and tricks like how to skip levels and warp to different places and stuff. Oh bogey. Every time I see bogey, it makes me think of booger. So when I was a kid, I was like, I got a booger. That sucks. <laughs> well, because some people, like the Brits, call, don't they call it bogeys? Yeah. Remember yeah, Ron yeah, right. and Harry Potter? Yeah, they call them bogeys. Yeah. Ew, troll bogeys. Yeah, yeah. Ew, oh, I should skip bogeys. that. I'd like to see those. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see what the hole looks like. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Sorry. This game's so apparently, like. Well, like, apparently, like, there's things you got is the wind. I never cared about the wind. And then there's also the point where you hit the ball. So, like, okay, if I do this, and then... How do you control... How oh. do you control... Oh, it's the, it's the left joystick. Okay, yeah. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. I'm going to try to play this properly. <laughs> Which, if I was actually really playing it properly, I would also be using... Uh, I, I would also be pressing the B button and watching the wind. Oh, God, it's going to be terrible. Um, so I just went, I, yeah, I want to go this way. There, there, okay. I don't know if that did anything. That's harder. That's why I'm not doing it. I think it went hot, like very high because I hit the ball right underneath. Mm. Well, whatever, it's fine. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think, I think it's pretty cool though. You started with the NES and then we, we got an S for last Christmas. Like we just decided, yeah. you know what? Let's get an S. We have we we both want to do some retro gaming. Let's just get one. And it's so cool. Like you have to like jiggle it to get it to work, and it has this really uh, shitty little spring sound when you open and close it. It's so cool. I love retro games. Uh, what was the first one we, that we got for it? What was the first game? Uh, Super Mario Bros. But then I specifically asked for Super Mario Bros. 3 because that was my favorite game. Yeah, that was your out. favorite. Did you ever beat it? Uh, yes. Because I had the flu. I remember this. You, you got it. You beat it when you were sick. That's impressive. Yeah, because I, I don't... Yeah, I remember... Because I remember... Yeah, okay. So, it's so, weird. Story it's, time. Let's go. No, it's <laughs> 
Check. It's weird that like you remember things when you're sick sometimes and like I just remember like I had a fantastic it had like the kids dream day like a kids dream day my parents took me to the library I got a bunch of library books and it was like during the summer so they fuck you tree <laughs> so they had the summer reading program going on and if you read like so many books you got like a prize from the prize box so I got like three prizes because I read a lot of books as a kid because I'm a fucking nerd that's pretty dope dude I wish I read more books I always I told you I had trouble Actually, getting through novels as a kid, I told you that. I, yeah. I'm so thankful for audiobooks today. Like, it's so much. If you you don't have the brain to take in stories, at least through written page, very easily, audiobooks. Audiobooks. Are Damn it. Why did you even do that? You I just, just didn't. Look. Are you just trying to get back at the fish or something? Yeah, I'm over them. But anyway, so yeah, so I had this perfect day where like my parents took me to the library. I got a couple prizes for the summer reading program. And then, like, they're like, okay, like, we'll go home, we'll make some hot dogs, and we'll, um, we'll play some games. And I was like, fuck yeah, like, it was, again, like, kids, like, perfect summer day, right? And then I just remember, like, and this is why I don't eat ketchup, by the way, because I put ketchup on my hot dogs, and then I have flu, like a stomach flu, that I got uh... probably from the library. <laughs> So I'm completely turned off ketchup now because of that. But I remember that was the day that I also beat Super Mario Bros. Woo! Sorry. Get a par. I just like, mm, yeah, I am okay. <laughs> I am doing well against this dinosaur. I am okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, remember I ass. grew up with this game like crazy. Did you ever even own this game on GameCube? Nope. Yeah. First time I played it was with you. Well, I played it this shit out of this game when I was a kid. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> not the best memories. Well, it's not that it's a bad game. It was a fun game, but I took it. I just won. I, I considered myself as a kid a big Mario fan. So when I was a kid, I was like, I got to get all the Mario characters. I got to do it all, you know? And this game was just, oh my God. You had to do so much crap to get everything. So, you know. I, yeah, I feel like I didn't put that much into things like oh, the I only did. video games I beat were the ones that my parents helped me with like they gave me all the cheats and stuff or um, the other one I beat was Super Mario Sunshine I beat that one that was such a great game that was one of the few games I beat as a child like I didn't have a lot of patience growing up for video games like I liked them and I liked playing them and I liked playing them with my friends but like when it came to like me actually like you know this my patience is very thin I think your patience has gotten really, like, a lot better over the years, though, after knowing you. Like, you, uh, it might be just a growing up thing, though. Yeah, uh, my job. <laughs> yeah, you have to be. Also doesn't help. But, um, like, like, with me just beating Ocarina, right, like, personally, not on the channel, but personally, like, I don't, with the, the controller I was using and everything, I think I would have with it. Uh, even like, you wouldn't have that much patience? Well, even, like, two years ago, or, like, when I was in university. I think it was Which like this. Like five years ago, whatever. Yeah, no, fair enough. I feel like it was just straight stubbornness for me. I, would, I just really wanted to beat the game so bad. Um, I guess I've always had that issue of like, I need to finish things. Um, it bothers me. But eh, I shouldn't say that. I'm not that perfectionist. I've definitely had moments where I'm like walking away from something unfinished so many times, but I don't know. I think it was just stubbornness for sure as a kid. I was a very stubborn kid. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. Um, like there was, there was definitely like I was really stubborn with projects. If I had something in my head, I had to be that way. So I remember in oh grade. My oh god. my god, you Mark are... Mario! Wow, you just took a tantrum. Tri oh wow! <laughs> oh, you're gonna drink from that cup, eh? Okay. Ninja Mario is amazing. Mm -hmm. Like every hole. He looks now so. Now he's gonna sit in quiet contemplation. He looks more like depressed, man. <laughs> he is depressed. You see, like the Eeyore of this game. They all do it though. Like uh, Peach throws a tantrum and, and and then Mario even goes hmm ah uh, mamma mia I'm so depressed have you watched actual golf though a lot of them take tantrums well I, I you know if my career is based on it and the fucking hole doesn't go in the hole when I do all the right things yeah I probably lose my shit too you know 
Yeah, I think my losing my shit is with the computer because so much of my work is on the computer and I'm just like... Oh, when talk yeah. Yeah, when one thing doesn't work, like you've heard me, I'd be like, shit, fuck. Man, our uh, conversations bounce around like crazy. We went from like going talking about university to... to talking about... I mean, what, what, I don't remember. Like, that's how much we changed conversation. I don't even remember all what we were talking about. I'm really bad for that, so it's 100% me. Like, when my mom well, and I- You're not gonna share the percentage? Come on. That was rude. No. No. I'm in the conversation as well. I am talking to... I'm on the fairway. I'm catching up. Terribly. I didn't realize you were behind me. Oh, I got hit through that video. <laughs> Woohoo! Meteor from space! Adios. Adios. There's a dog out there. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking car chase out there with a dog. Oh Jesus god. Christ. Oh god. Hmm. Alright, so should I go a little bit to the right? Probably should. Fuck off, boo. I don't care. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie though, I've always loved gaming. That is for damn sure. I have two, like I said, it was just my patience growing up. And now, it's very thin. Well, well, so we should share, so... As you mentioned before, you just beat Orcarina of Time Zelda on your own with me mm -hmm. off the channel. Mm -hmm. So like, what was your experience? What was your takeaway from that game? I hope it's not this uh, Yoshi moment right now where you're depressed, <laughs> but... No, um, I had moments where I was screaming a lot. Mm -hmm. um... <laughs> oh, here we go. Hello, mamma mia! Oh, well, I never did that, thank gosh. Oh, I... No, That's really. my daily life. I run in circles and fall over all the time. Knew it. Wow, we're really good. Ah, so good. So, so good. So good, yeah. You're going. Sorry, don't, I don't want to cut you off. Um, no, I, I had, it was a good time. It was a good time. But what did you, okay, so, so yeah, the controls kind of sucked, but that's kind of partially because we played it on the Wii U when you did it, use it on the gamepad, so it kind of sucked. So like, yeah. so like, okay, like, you said it's a good time. Like, what is it that you liked about it? What, I like, I think you, you nailed it last night when we were talking about it, is, um, the event, the sense of adventure and like the sense of accomplishment after the adventure. Mm -hmm. Like if I was Link, I'd want a nap for like a year. I just thought it was tragic just because after all that shit you go through, you know, the water temple, shadow temple, you're going back and forth between time. And then you finally get to Zelda, you climb Gans Tower and you go through all his stupid trials and then you beat him. Which is a big volleyball fight, right? And then you, and then he turns into this big wacky monster after you go chase down the tower falling apart. After all that craziness, as I was just like, okay, so I'm gonna play the York Arena and send you back to where you came from, and no one's gonna know what happened. Yeah, that's and pretty he, sad. It's really sad, man. Like this character literally has been, he's done everything without argue at all, and you know, and then he's just. And he's just erased from time in lots of ways, you know? It's very sad. This is a horrible thing to say, especially with what's going on right now. Mm. But aren't there a lot of heroes in history that have kind of gone through the same thing? Ah, that's a good point. Like, they've done a lot for people and then just got erased from the history books, you know what I'm saying? That's a good point, actually, yeah. See, look, he's depressed. Ah, oh, mamma mia. I think they're trying to explain that it's bad. Yeah, but they're but it's coming across like he's just like you're gonna be okay, Mario. Like yeah. there's the rest of the day. Lunch is coming up some point, you know. Lunch. We don't come on. Don't you ever look forward to lunch? It's just me, isn't it? No, I I look forward to food most days. Food is a good. I do have moments where like you know when you're you're going through your day and you you know everyone wants to. I don't want to come what across as super the... greedy, but you're you're using a stick per se. There you go. But I want to look. And then, um, then, you, then use your stick. Sorry. I don't. I don't want to come across as greedy, but like you know, sometimes you want to buy things. Then you're just. Sometimes I'm just like, you know what? I just want to make sure I have some food in my house. And I'm yep. set. I'll just, you know, I got all these sweet games, awesome books to read, 
movies, we got to go for walks, you no. Know, go to the gym, go to the pool, like there's so many yeah. things that, like I'm good, I don't need anything, but you have moments where you're like, ah, oh, I really want to try that new game, or I want to read that new book, because it's so exciting, but then you have moments where you're like, ah, no, I just, you know what, see some good food, life's good. That's true. Yeah. I, it's kind of funny, actually, because when you were saying that, I was kind of thinking, like, a lot of my purchases lately, um, bear in mind, I'm not leaving the house right now because of the situation. Yeah, but definitely. A lot of my purchases lately have been hobby-driven. Yeah, same. Or yeah. lifestyle. Well, for both of us in lots of ways. Yeah, so, like, I'm looking at buying some new clip-on lenses for my smartphone so I can take better pictures. I'm looking at... Or I just invested in Adobe Light Shop. Actually, Adobe Creative Suite, sorry, because that's how they do it now. So I have like Photoshop and Light Shop on my phone to like get better at that and like stuff like that. Yeah. I'm taking a lot of courses yeah. right now. Sorry. You good? That's right. Oh. Go on. You should talk about, yeah, your courses. Uh, Peyton's been taking some really dope courses on lots of cool things. Bear in mind, I have... I'm going to bear in my mind as much as you tell me to, but at some point you're going to have to tell me. Okay. <laughs> I I have take I have not... This is not bragging, this is just being realistic. Bear in mind. I have two degrees under my belt, and I just wanted some professional upgrades. Cool, um, that's fair And, enough. like, to upgrade some of my hobbies and stuff and get better at, like... Like, I talked about photography is one of them. I talked about... Um, or I mentioned Adobe Lights. Light, He's light all studio. happy for you. I know, because I finally got par! I didn't go over par! It's great! Uh, I keep getting boogers. He's very depressed about those boogers still. About those bogeys. Ah, mama mia. But anyway, sorry, like, I, you know, I, I mentioned that I'm spending money on those things, and part of the reason is I'm taking these courses that are super cheap through Shaw Academy, shout out. Um, and shout out my boys! <laughs> yeah. They're not like full degrees, they're like just professional diplomas. Mm -hmm. So let's say you're already in, like I'm taking a bunch of marketing ones. Yeah, yeah. I'm not in marketing in any stretch of the imagination, um, but it's like stuff that could come in handy with some of my hobbies. So like I write, uh, we do this, like how can we leverage what we already have and get better at it? And that's kind of my philosophy right now is just trying to use the time that is right now uh, where we can't really go anywhere and just try to expand my knowledge and my horizons. Yeah, yeah well, that's the one thing I, we've talked about this uh, with everything that's going on. I don't know why people are so. It sucks just being stuck inside, you know? I totally get that. I don't but, get how people are bored though. Yeah, fine. There's so many hobbies, you know, that you can start start working on. Like, you, it's, the world is full of things to learn. You, you know, like, life, I, I believe in lifelong learning. I think you do too. Like, it's just, Oh, absolutely. There's so many things to learn. You don't just go to school, you know, and then you learn how to do your job and then you never learn again. You just do your job the rest of your life. That's so boring. You gotta keep learning. Oh, Boo's gonna start to uh, ba bother you there. Hey. You see what you have to do, right? You have to get you have to get to that mm -hmm. point and jump over. Yeah. That's not that bad. I wouldn't go that far. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> see what that does. But yeah, I don't get how people are like, I'm just watching Netflix all the time. It's like really? There's something, yeah. Nothing else in the world that interests you. Like I know it's it's really crazy to me because I ha I uh, we're getting aggressive this episode. Sorry, we're getting, we're getting no, we both are. We're both like stupid fucking people. What the fuck? It's been a long week. Forgive me. <laughs> but yeah, um, that. no, like I used to teach. Well, I still teach music lessons online, right? Good for you. And um, like I used to have so many adult students, and then when the bomb dropped, essentially they quit their lessons and i'm kind of like dude like it's the best time to practice actually. yeah like this is time. yeah you're not you know if you're working from home it's not you know you're not leaving every morning you're not commuting every morning it's less demanding in that sense right so yeah. why not use that time to develop your guitar skills Good and shot, like pick up way. your guitar Thanks, oh whoa, oh shit that rude. was good that's twice that's happened to me oh birdie putt birdie putt Gonna birdie the putt. Here we go. Uh -huh. Ah, fuck. Wait, I do it right. Oh, oh that's suck not okay. My dick. Let's see here. Uh. Oh. Just shy. 
Oh, this is... Man, fucking shit, this is... I got a burger! Uh, I guess you're right, I gotta take account the slope. I'm not doing that very well. I, uh, I learned the thing that whenever you're putting, you gotta go just a tiny bit over what they suggest. And you get it every time. And then if you uh, if you're shooting, actually shooting it, you go just under it. Oh, that's the trick. That's I've been the... going at like where they suggest. I think that's what I. Yeah, I'd never do that. You get to. I find that tends to, to work, though obviously the wind and everything. I'm not paying attention to. Oh, that's a tourist day in this game right now. Yeah, it's like a beautiful sunny day here. Like you probably hear the birds on our balcony and everything. And yeah. then this game is such a downer. I hope the birds aren't too loud, but uh, we're just like, you know what? We could close it and then it'll be just our voices, but it's nice outside. I hope it doesn't sound terrible, but eh. It's against everything that they teach. Deal with it. Did you just hit in the lake? Uh. Oh, you did. Yeah. You did. Yeah. He's like, well, that sucked. <laughs> oh. Why wow, you sound very scared right now? You sound like very down. Oh no. Ooh, I'm not gonna make it through this. Oh no. Well, I got, I've got, i got one more shot. Yeah, I know I sound like Eeyore, fuck you. A little bit there. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Shit, yeah. Nice on. They do say it in this one. Nice on. Nice on. So I remember like, oh god, this was years ago, when you first got drunk and it was playing the N64 Mario Golf and you're just like hitting it in like stupid directions. Yeah. Don't you dare do the thing. No! You didn't follow my strategy. You gotta go a little bit more. That might be a little too much. I got it. Yes! Woohoo! Woohoo! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. You're just pissed, aren't you? You're just super pissed. Yeah. Okay, no. Ooh. Triple bogey. Three boogers in one shot. Same. We'll just leave you there, Yoshi. It's okay. Yoshi's like, I'm gonna become extinct right here. <laughs> <laughs> become extinct right here. <sighs> I don't get why this is called Cheap Cheap Falls. There's no Cheap Cheeps. Well, we're not in the water. It's probably in the water. What are well, you waiting for? But why? <sighs> Get out. Nice. I'm not allowed, allowed in this house anymore. So, I we never discussed when, when we were going to stop. Like, so, oh. we're, we're at, I guess we should keep going to 18A. We're at hole 11 already. Yeah, we'll keep going. Whatever. We'll do a <laughs> long episode of this garbage. Good luck with that pit gear in there. That was not what I wanted, but <laughs> I just wanted to chip it on the green anyway. Birdie putt. Birdie putt. <laughs> well, 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 well. Yay. You're gonna get par. Because I I'm am. A bogey. I'm just okay. You're a booger. You're a bit old burger. Uh, that might a, be too wow, much. that made no sense. A big old booger. There you big go. Big old burger. The one thing I've definitely learned about doing YouTube is, holy shit, do I mumble. It drives me crazy. You I, try, you're trying not to defend me? I, I'm hearing the laws. No, right but now. You, remember when I was showing you Vampire Diaries the other night? Like, yeah. you're not as bad as that guy. Oh, that one guy, yeah. He's like, I don't know. The guy that plays Matt. Yeah. How are you? Oh, I know. I'm. I'm I don't know, he's, he, like, he gets better as the seasons go but, on, but that first season, I can't understand a damn thing he says. But like, so if you, if anyone out there, if you're, if, if you have a job where you have to communicate with other people, like, do you- Start a vlog. Start a, start a vlog, start YouTube, YouTube show, or anything where you're recording yourself with a microphone, because you will find out things you may not want to know, but that will help you to get better. Definitely. Yeah. Holy cow. So I, I work as a salesman, so in most of my jobs. So, you know, if I'm not communicating very well with, with a customer, they're not. It's, it's gonna come across as okay. 
they're not gonna wanna they're not gonna wanna work with me, right? It's, it's important. When I well, was anywhere you work, actually. Yeah, when I was still acting when I was growing up, I sounded ten times better than I do now. And then I got out of that. Yeah, you get used to just kind of. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, because yeah. I went from acting to music. Yeah. Vocal, like, uh, we took, both Peyton and I took a course in university called, uh, I won't say what it's called, but it's basically just, uh, you have, if you're in music, you have to take a, a course regarding uh, singing. And they talk about pronunciation. I learned a little bit in that course, uh, but actually, I don't think I learned as much as I did when I was actually recording myself for YouTube. Holy cow. When even, I. Even then, I still have problems. I'm so glad I took that vocal course in university, though, because when I took my TESOL course to be able to teach English as a foreign language mm -hmm. online, yeah, um, everything that they talked about in terms of like parsing words and putting syllables together and stuff was it was just so useful because we already covered a lot of that. So and it gave it gives it a different perspective. It does. Uh, that's the whole point of art. Of art, um, is that it's, uh, subjective. Calm down, Mario. He's really excited. <laughs> <laughs> I love the look of Yoshi, though. He just looks at the ball. He's like, I'm gonna hit it, and he just looks over. Did I do it? There's something about a little old manish about Yoshi too. Ah, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, well, I mean, yes. he's like a thousand-year-old dinosaur. So how do you know that? He could be that. young. He seems young and chipper. He's a young So does Luna, dino. and she's a senior cat now. I know, yeah, our cat Luna is uh, turning seven soon. And uh, that's a scary thing. We, uh, yeah, because uh, we, uh, when uh, Peyton and I got together, uh, one of the things that we bonded over was uh, Peyton's cat Luna. So it's kind of crazy that all, all the years have gone by and she's already seven. It's crazy. I still remember when she was a little baboon. I never had that experience when she was a kitten. I never had that. Ugh. Which I really, really regret not knowing you a little earlier. Oh, uh, she was awful as a kitten. I can imagine. Because um, I got her during the summer before I went into second year university. And the first day of um, classes, mm -hmm. when you were in a music faculty like we were, was you had to audition. Yeah. So there was no structured classes, you were just running from audition to audition to see where you'd fit in an ensemble. Yeah, I remember that too. Again, It was so stressful. Yeah, I remember that. And you were preparing all summer for this audition, hoping it would go well. Some of the pieces were easy, like especially as the years went on, but like it, it was just the experience is terrifying. But dude, that's how we met. Yep. That's how we met. It was, we were, I was, we were both auditioning for the jazz ensemble and um, we, I, I, mem I remember I felt really bad because uh, uh, my parents always were always telling me when I was doing my auditions of like, just make sure you bring more than just what they're asking for, just to show that you can do a lot of things, which is probably a little too much, but I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do what they're telling me to do because my parents went to the music faculty, I, was, I thought it might be good advice, so I did the thing, and I had this little, um, so I, I played this jazz excerpt on guitar, that they wanted to play, and then after that, I wanted to show them uh, a classical piece that I, it's not even a classical piece, but it's on classical guitar, and it was like a little bassa, like a cool little funky bossa nova kind of thing, to show that I, I had a little bit of groove. And uh, I felt terrible because I had two guitars and an amp all in this room, and you had to move your, your shit out of the room and in the room as people were doing their auditions. And nobody would help you because apparently sitting there marking up a page is more important. Wow, you're really mad about that, okay. But, <laughs> so, Peyton, so as I was leaving and finished my little piece, Peyton was coming in behind me and I was like, sorry, sorry. The first thing I said to you was, I'm sorry. I know, it's actually, <laughs> sums up our relationship. Hey, that's rude. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna go easy on you now. You know what? Gonna go for that hole. Ding a ling a ling a ling. And I'm just gonna be okay, because that's what I got. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bogey this one. This is Mario over. Oh, but yeah, that was a cute little story. I, me I remember that. And then, uh, 
I'm trying to remember what year I was. Was that your first year? That was my first year, so yeah. you would have been in fourth year. Oh, I'm in fourth. Yeah. No, I wasn't I in like year three or something? Or, yeah. No, because you came back in teacher's college. No, I think there was. I think I was in the jazz, the jazz ensemble with that one guy. You know, what I'm talking about the one director for three years. Yeah. Two. Yeah. And then I. Am... Did I come back to teacher college for yeah, two you years? Did. Oh, you're right. I did. That's right. Just teacher college. No, because teacher college for me was one year. It's two for you. You weren't in third year, dude. You're in fourth year. It was your last year. It's because I played Felicidade. Yeah, it's because I played that and that was my last year piece. Yeah, that's right. Jeez, it's crazy. Yeah, it was your last year, my first year. Yeah. And then, but I remember going to the audition. No, sorry, it was the year after. We, it was the same thing. You were auditioning for, um, for, and you were ahead of me again. But anyway, it was my second year audition that the goddamn kitten, uh, Luna, when she was a baby. Aw, little Luna. She ran out of the apartment, like darted out of the apartment, ran around. Somebody opened the door. She started running up steps to a different floor, and I had to go catch her. It was god off. I remember that distinctly. The sound in my first apartment. Oh. Yeah. It's like you're already stressed, and then you got this kitten running around. It's just awful. Well, but it's, it's also, best decision I ever made at the same time. So. Oh yeah. Well, it's also hard because like your first year, you're going, you were living in residence, and that was which is a poor what, choice for anybody. Yeah, don't live in residence. If you ever, if you are a person going into university, if you want to have uh, freedom to kind of have your own space and 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 study and have friends over when you want, don't go to residence. I will say this though, if you consider yourself to be an extrovert or like a super social person, sure, yeah, but, it's a good yeah. stepping stone. And then you meet people who you can move in with when you kind of get to know people. I would say if you are an introvert who likes your own space, don't go into residence because that was me. Um, and the other thing too, make sure like when they pair you up with these people that you make your explicit, your schedule explicit because I got paired with roommates who were cleanly, like they, they paired us on cleanliness and we were all very clean people, but they also paired me with early risers. So a uh, lot of my courses were late at night. I would jazz, come home. jazz was particularly a, yeah. a night group that you played in. Yeah. Exactly. And so I would come home as late as midnight because I would go and study or I'd go and practice and then I would go back to my dorm room and they'd be yelling at me being like, oh, like you're making too much noise. Yeah, so that's that's the problem with roommates. That's, that's yeah. just a roommate thing, I think. But make sure you, yeah, if you're choosing your own roommates and you can choose be critical, that, man. be very critical. And if you you're can't, stuck with it. at least lay down the law. You gotta be reasonable too. You got It's a give and take situation. But yeah. there's sorry, we're we're a little aggressive because we just have some. We've had a lot of negative roommate experiences. But you know, it's just. It, that's, I think that's just roommates. You know. I guess all we're saying is if you if you have the choice to just live on your own, do it. I'd ultimately just take it because yeah. it's just gonna save you a lot of pain and struggle. Because people are people, you know. Like Jim wants to do their thing, which is totally fine, Jim. But we want to do our own thing, and sometimes things just don't gel, and, and they, you know. And uh, it can really suck though, because if you're friends with somebody, uh, it can make it, you can make a, a bit of a tool in the friendship too. So ah shit, I did not get this. So that's that's all I'm saying. Just be careful if you're in that situation. Yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck this up. Oh, I didn't. Sweet. Everything's okay. Yay. Everything is awesome. <laughs> I don't know what that. No, it was. I was thinking back on University, and that movie came out, and I remember they played it at one of the music. Is that the Lego movie? Yeah, they yeah. played the Lego movie theme at one of the music socials. Oh, you got a birdie. Fucking Woo finally. Yeah. I love how he's like. He winds up and then he does the piece. He's like, yeah, that's what it comes off. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, eh? Oh, I wonder what that so sounds cool. like. <laughs> I wonder what my stupid noises sound like. We'll find out later. <laughs> I was gonna say you're the one that's gonna find out later. Yeah, no kidding, eh? This is why I, I edit, because you, you're a great talker, I'm not, so it's gonna be great to hear what the hell I fucking sound like. It'll be great. Um, yeah, I do, I do the session, I guess. But anyways, so yeah. 
Hey, if you like, comment, and su subscribe, especially if you comment, I'll interact with you. Yeah, yeah. Payne likes to talk to all the, the, the I peeps. like to talk to all, everybody. I'm a little slower with the social media stuff, so I will, but I, I will get in that train soon. Nice shot. You just gayed all over the place. So much gay. Literally me all this month. <laughs> Heck yeah. Heck yes. Heck. I should make this explicit for oh people my God. who are new. Now bear in mind. I am a hella bi, so I say, Yeah, if you're- And if, it's if June. You're homo, I hate to say it, if you're homophobic, I, you, you, Move you're already on. on the wrong channel. Yeah. Unless you can bear with it, but like, if in general it bugs you, move on, because I say it a lot. But for anyone that wants to stay, we love you. We love you. We love you. you. I, I, like, I, I complained about people saying that. Don't tell people you love them. You don't even know them. I, I went know. on a whole tangent about that, about <laughs> YouTuber, and now I just fucking did it myself. <laughs> fucking hypocrite. Uh, don't was, fucking say things. You don't know who they are. That was funny, because that was with the fuck you, Olivia Munn thing, too. Whoa, I'm out in the ocean. What am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. I'm trying to understand I'm what you're to, doing. Well, I'm trying to... You have to adjust it, so you just kind of go hopping over the other side. It's a blasting off the... You know, Team Rocket space. Well, <laughs> maybe I want to. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See, that worked. What if the sounds of the ball every time it hit the ground were just fart noises? It was like, so it was like this. Like... <laughs> there we go. Imagine if it was some guy screaming like, Oh God, why? Every time. Oh, the ball every time? Yeah. He's like, here we go. <laughs> and Mari's like, oh, that was a big doozy. <laughs> that was a doozy. Oh! <laughs> That's a real big cool point to just uh, set the shot pot. And here we go. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'm stopped. I'll stop. I'm going to have to edit that. I'm gonna have to edit that. It's gonna be painful. I'm sorry. Well, that's a you problem. I'm sorry to my future self. Yeah, <laughs> <sighs> even Yoshi depressed about it. He's like, so you made you made that choice, eh? Yeah, yeah. Look at him. He's looking right at you too. Mm -hmm. I every time you say you drank from that cup, it just makes me think of the Latin movie with I love Will that Smith. Line. That's it. You're gonna drink from that cup, eh? Ooh. Ah, mamma mia, life sucks. I'm but the ice cream later. <laughs> I use that one a lot, like even if I'm watching TV, like I just recently finished Hollywood on Netflix, which is, it's like a fun ride. I thought it was a good show. It's a good show. I don't know. I, but like, I like things. I, I like when people would make poor choices, I'd be like, oh, so you're going to drink from that cup. And but then that's like, the point of a story. Some characters, if every character made the right choice, it'd be the most boring story. Yeah, it would. The damn truth. Uh, did we ever talk about our Game of Thrones obsession? I think everyone had that, but we had it so late. We did. That was uh, that was a binge watching situation because we just got in like a super fantasy mode and we're like, we've watched Lord of the Rings so many goddamn times. Like I can quote most of that, at least the first movie. Yeah, you're, sure. you're a little scary. You're like yeah. our one friend that like, whenever she watches Mean Girls, she just says, I couldn't believe she it. Has I thought you were kidding. Thing. No, she has the whole thing memorized, a hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. And it's like a religion to her. Yeah, no, I like, I just threw it on, like, just for something to throw on one time when she was over. And she just got right in the middle of the floor, oh, the crossed right her now. legs. She looked like, it was really cute. She looked like, 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 you know when kids get excited when their TV show's on? She sat right in the middle of the floor, crossed her legs, and started quoting the entire movie. And, and I was then, like, and then oh everyone my looks over, And then everyone looks over her, and then she just looks kind of, just looks, does a little, does a little look back to the right back to the video. It's like, just smiles like, yeah, I know all the words, guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, oh, you do. Oh my god. I hope we can get her on our show. We tried to actually record her a long time ago. Yeah, she was supposed to guest her. We we uh, oh, no. she we, we tried to get her. No, it's not no, that she didn't. No, the it's video file. She, yeah, it's not that she didn't do it. Yeah, it's right. that we didn't have a capture card at that point, so we were trying to do, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, and we tried to use emulators and record it, but our computer sucked, so it didn't hold up, and, and it really sucked. Wow, now that shot also sucked. Yeah. Ooh, that's a shitty shot. Oh. Thanks! Ooh, ouch. Ooh! Oh. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, yeah. 
good. Right, well, fine, I'll... Ooh, you gotta, you gotta plan. You gotta plan your shots. <laughs> <laughs> Why does yours look like a fireball and mine looks like a rainbow? It's just a, it's a character specific thing. A Why am I aiming into a tree? Why is that a thing? Yeah, you're gonna have to- Oh my god, this is my worst hole. What the fuck? This reminded me when I was uh, tipsy playing the first time. That was, yeah, as a heads up, by the way, I, I, uh... You got wrecked. The alcohol thing, I, throughout university, I was actually always very afraid of the concept of, like, getting tipsy or drunk or anything. And I never touched it at all. It was actually kind of, uh, um, I guess it helped my studies, I guess. <laughs> but, like, the one thing is, I realized how much fun I was missing. And I'm not saying, like... Go get drunk right away, but it was, you know, like when you just have a drink and you're loosen up with your friends, it's a good time. You know. And uh, I, this was the game. No, this wasn't the game. It was Mario uh, Golf 64. Yeah. That was the first game. Yeah, Peyton never lets me live it down. No, it was I, bloody brilliant. I loved it. Because I was hit, I was in a sand pit, like kind of like you are right now. See how you are in a sand pit? See yeah, that? but you like lived in the sand pit. For a while, yeah. I, I could knock it out. And you were just laughing. You thought it was the funniest thing ever. And <laughs> I'm laughing along with you because like when Cause somebody like, laughs hysterically, you can't really like help yourself. Nope. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I gotta get a little closer. Got a little triple bogey. <laughs> I don't know what mine is. Mine's there probably. It is. Mine's. Can you just, just get death? Can the Grim Reaper just come and show up and be like, "You suck so bad, we're just gonna kill you right now." <laughs> oh, sorry. Give it all you've got. You I love got... how mine's in brackets because it's dinosaur lingo. Plus four. Oh, I don't even get a saying. It's just math. Ah, mamma mia. Okay, are we a last hole? Dude, we're at our last hole. Last one. Okay, next time, next time we're going to the chomp area. I want, I want to mess yes. with some chain chomps, man. I mess with some chain chomps. I think that was actually the one where I lost my mind. In. I just needed to relearn the controls for this game. Boom! Remember when we played this game with your dad, and then he was just randomly really good because he knows how to actually golf. Yeah, well, yeah, he's he golfs. Um, Strategy. He golfs in his leisure, but he also golfs... In his leisure, not his leisure, his leisure. <laughs> but he also his, golfs his as, a, as a part of corporate events, right? Does, like does, when he's entertaining customers and stuff. Does he, does he golf in his heath leisure? Just one time, man. Start. Go on. But anyway, so yeah, so he knew like all these tricks and like was like, Oh, you gotta watch this and watch that. And I was like... Yeah, I thought it was very funny. I, I thought we were gonna be like, okay, so this is how you yeah. get the controller, and you do this. And I was like, oh, the wind's doing this and that. Okay, cool, I'll just do this. Nice. And I was like, okay, wow, shit. Okay. Well, there's a reason why I'm scared I'm scared now. Plus 17. I'm just, I'm, I'm just having a good time. Again, it's just because I'm used to controls. I played the, like, I played this game too much. It's just a golf game. It's a fun one, but it's, yeah. Nice. When I was a kid, yeah, I could have chosen so many other things. I do want to show you Diddy Kong Racing though. Actually, I want to show you Donkey Kong 64 because that game is hilarious. DK, Donkey Kong, Kong. DK. Wah, 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 Donkey Kong is here. <laughs> I love how they put that in the Super Smash Bros game too. So when you're fighting him, it's like you can break it down to the donkey rap. Yo, yo, Donkey Kong. <laughs> um, that's a little strong there, friend. Yeah. Yeah, going for it a little hard there. That's perf- Um, uh, maybe no, not. That's because you're chipping it. it. You're chipping. You're chipping and chocolating it all over the place. Oh, this is garbage. Booty put. I know, I put some ass away. Oh! <laughs> God damn it. Ooh. 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 Bing? <sighs> Come on, man. Just, just get it in. Are you going to play Banjo-Kazooie with me? I really want to yes. know. I'm so excited, and, and though I am very much I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm, ooh, triple bogey. Yeah, I know, thanks. <laughs> yeah, 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 fucking pass out like a <laughs> dumbass dinosaur that you are. Ooh, rude, he's a, he's a lovable dinosaur. You're right, I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's Literally amazing. just as you were defending the game. <laughs> also, I gotta point something out. I know, oh, damn it, they took it off the screen. What? If you look, 
on the right hand corner of the screen, there's a toad box. Yeah, okay. But he looks horrifying. I'll have to look back, because we are done, friends. That was Cheap Cheap Falls, and you kicked my ass. Ow! <laughs> Jeez, I didn't know this would resort to violence, actually, in real life. Great. Oh, stop. It's like, I take this to court. It's like, this is, look, this is the evidence. She hit me. I barely grazed you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. You learned probably a bunch of crap about us. So, there's that. Thank you for joining us in Cheap Cheap Falls. Thank you. Would you like to buy Cheap Cheap Falls? It's $120,000. Actually, that's probably pretty cheap, isn't it? $120,000 for a golf course? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the land you're paying. Anyway, why are we having this discussion? Right, Who cares? Uh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. 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 <laughs>